your local weather with the KX News Storm Team. Well, snow is lifting out of here for most of us. Still seeing a lot of snow moving through the Minot area, down Highway 2, and through uh, the Lake Metagoshi Turtle Mountain region there. So, kind of diving in, you see it's losing its intensity. It's getting a lot lighter, and it, it will end here very soon for folks in the Butte and the Carlsruhe area. Harvey, it will end for you very soon. We head to the south, already seeing that really taper for most of us. Just a few flurries falling around the Capital City area and the Mandan area. Here's our Lake Metagoshi camera. You can see snow beginning to accumulate. We you're seeing around a trace to maybe up to an inch to an inch and a half, enough to make things really slick. And I was watching this camera earlier, and the wind has just been whipping off this roof here. This is facing to the northeast, and that wind is coming from the southeast and the east here. So uh, it is very windy, so that's causing some uh, wind chill concerns out there because the temperatures are down to the 20s. We really didn't warm up today. 23 in Harvey, 26 in Dickinson, 25 in Minot, and 28 in Bismarck. Wind speeds out of the east and southeast. They have relaxed a little bit within the last hour or so. 15 to 25 is what we're looking at. Still pretty strong in the southwest and even up towards the Bakken region there. Uh, but the southwest is where we have our wind advisory. It lasts until about 7 p.m. Central Time, 6 Mountain Time. That's going to include that Dickinson area, the Fort Yates, uh, Watford City area as well. Wind speed trends, as you see here, will stay a little breezy even after that wind advisory is allowed to expire, probably into the overnight and really relax into tomorrow morning, which is good news because we know a lot of folks are going to be out at the polls. So we want to get rid of this wind and have kind of a break in that action for at least one day and that's what we're going to get. This snow lifts out of here and then things get really quiet for Tuesday. Tuesday's the, the quietest day weather-wise of the entire week. After that, a little more weather drama for the second half of the week, if you will. So that's good news for folks who want to get out and vote. Once we get into Wednesday, while not everyone will see snow, some could see snow out ahead of that larger low that moves in late Wednesday night. You'll notice here some snow chances there for the Minot Williston area, possibly quick little mix there into the southeast. But the larger push and the larger system we've been talking about now for well over a week that uh, is looking to come into fruition here, that larger system is going to move through with a low to our southeast, and we're going to be in the cold sector of what we call a Colorado low. And if you're from here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Colorado lows carry a lot of moisture, a lot of moisture being brought in from the east side of this system, and it meets the cold air off towards the west. This will impact us most of the day on Thursday. It arrives Wednesday night, most of the day on Thursday. I am watching for the possibility of blizzard conditions around south central and parts of eastern North Dakota. That's something you should know. So make those plan B's for, for your Thursday travel. The weather service has already given us a winter storm watch for basically starting Wednesday night at midnight and it lasts all the way until noon on Friday. So here's the area that I'm watching for the highest impacts. And at this time, what I'm calling highest impacts is going to be where we could see over six inches of snow and really strong winds. So uh, basically from Grand Forks to Devil's Lake, Jamestown, Bismarck, and even right there at Dickinson, we could see uh, shovelable, plowable snow here. Could see snow in other areas as well, but we're going to combine that with wind in those high impact zones, and it may be really tough to travel for Thursday. Temperatures for tonight back down to the 20s, and for Election Day, not a bad one. The winds are going to be pretty light here. We are looking at temperatures back into the 40s for many into tomorrow. A quick look at your Dickinson forecast as you see here. Temperatures do fall on Thursday to the teens. Also in Williston, back to the teens on Thursday. That system really cooling us down. There's your Minot seven day forecast. Uh, also into Bismarck, cooling down to the teens. Remember, you can always find these seven day forecasts on kxnet.com. So if they weren't ready yet, get ready for some cold nights. Yeah, it's really cooling down sub zero Friday night. Wow, thanks so much, Amber. Well, next in our five at five, Twitter announced they're cutting jobs.